back in Venice. Headed to go for a run real quick. I miss the beach. I miss running by the beach. It's about to be real nice. Uh, I was learning some Panica Pro early this morning. It's so much fucking work, man. Like, it's just, it's a little bit of a different workflow, but I'm making some headway. Well, four miles in, 4.1 miles. I think, I don't know what the pace is, but we got like one more mile back, get some change. Beautiful day out here, beautiful day. All right, completed five miles, you know, felt good. What's up, people? It's five o'clock. I just got the shower. I just got back from my run. It was great. And I think I wanted to get into the hot tub. So I'm about to go get some rose. And then I'll come. And I'm probably gonna get some food because I don't know that I have anything upstairs. I feel like I have more groceries at Stephanie's crib now than they even have here. Yeah, I'm planning to get some groceries, something to cook tonight. And then, yeah. Yeah, we'll come back and get in the hot tub. It's gonna be nice. And I'm gonna answer some questions. I'm gonna do like a Q&A in the hot tub or whatever, um, just because I haven't gotten back to comments in a while. So, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. And that's gonna be cool. Yeah. All right, just arrived to Whole Foods. We're about to get some food to eat tonight and some rosé and we out, big. Hope that, I hope y'all can hear that, you know, with my mask on and all that. for hotel rooms for the homeless and then not put them in those hotel rooms which i could completely see because you just know how you know how these hotels are and it's like they don't want anybody in their business that's not nice and they're trying to keep a certain aesthetic up and it's to the point where it's like fuck other humans you know they don't care that these are other humans that you know are down and out and it's like you have these empty you rather these rooms just sit empty than to let someone sleep in a bed for a night and especially if the city paid money for a bunch of rooms for homeless people. So now the rooms have been paid for and you got guests, all these people in the streets who are still in the streets. And you're not putting them in them, that would be crazy. But I wouldn't even be surprised if this is true. I'm gonna look it up and see, but like, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. All right, so I got some wings from Whole Foods. I got some wings, I got some wine, I got some shrimp, I got some crab cakes. I actually got lobster cakes. Fancy. I got this rose. It looked delicious, so I was just like, all right, I'm gonna grab this. This looks good. Yeah, I usually just I like these roses that are dry, but just like with this light and color, it's usually my shit. It's usually just like drinks like water. It's a chop. Hold up. Wait a minute. It's a 22. Pew pew pew. Pew pew pew. I 
lot of people don't know the proper way is to like cut around so you can take the top off and then but. Yo, all I do is watch Emma Chamberlain videos. Like, I watch all her shits. I feel like I'm trying to catch up because I've missed it for so long, but yeah, I just be binging her shit. Okay, I think the last, fuck. I don't know. <laughs> I think the last video I watched, I'm five days back on the videos. Nah. Okay, maybe I have like, Mentally got back to people, but not physically. Dude, you should check out a tutorial on lasagna and make some. It's my fave, buddy. Yo, I've seen, um, lasagna looks like a lot of work, long story short. Like, I've thought about it, but I'm just like, yo, this looks like too much work. But I've had some good lasagna before, but it seems like a lot of work. But I like doing the cooking videos. Y'all are definitely gonna keep getting cooking videos from me because I love food, so like, I'm gonna keep doing cooking videos. One, two, three, four, five videos to get back to. So let's do it, let's do it. We're gonna start with He Belongs to the Streets. Love from Ghana, back to you, bro. I wanna come to Ghana one day, I would love to go. People used to tell me that they thought I was I was from Ghana because I, like I told you, I don't know my dad. But I did my uh, Ancestry.com and I think the majority of my ethnicity was Nigerian. And then after that, it was just like a mix, but yeah. I, People used to really think I was from Ghana. Your vlogs are getting better and better, bro. Keep them coming. Thank you. Okay, living in South and Cape Town. I, know, I'm kind of excited to try. I would live there until everything passes through and make a name for myself in the motherland. Yo, it's crazy. I was actually talking to my friend. <laughs> I was talking to my friend Christina today because we uh, we were roommates last time we lived in Cape Town and we, were, we became friends the first time we were there together. So like, she was just there and she just came, she went back to Germany. But I was just like, damn, I'm thinking about like going there, like, you know, once things open back up a little bit, because it's like, it's true. Like, I don't know what's about to happen here and my money would go a long way there. I could just chill the fuck out, work on my vlogs and just like still model in Cape Town and, you know, do my thing and come back here. But also like, fuck that. I feel like I could also just like, okay, I mean, notice with the Cape Town, but it's like, Sometimes it's like the easier way out and I just feel like I would also like to hustle here in LA with everybody else that's trying to make it happen and be here on the ground, having a budget, having to do whatever, but like actually here for opportunities that are happening here and figuring it out with the rest of America at least. So yeah, I don't know, I stay away from trying to take the easy way out sometimes. We'll def I'll definitely be back for sure. You must try Johannesburg as it's the hub of entertainment industry in South Africa. Personally, as a South African, I feel Cape Town is too white for my liking, but I'm glad you had the best time in my country. Victoria Johannesburg is more diverse. Looking at your videos, I reckon you enjoy it more in the vibe is. Nice, thank you for commenting, bro. Yeah, I've only been to Johannesburg just to go to Kruger National Park, and I went to like around there or whatever, some of the other like sites, but I would love to come and kick it and just spend some time in Joburg. I'll come back, I will come back to South Africa and I will reach out and you know do posts so you guys can give me some recommendations. Maybe I can meet some of y'all when I do come there. I uh, think sometime next year. You know, hopefully. I mean, if giving up the world is what it's doing. I mean, it's, it's back to normal somewhat. I would love. I was gonna come this year, so yeah, I would love to come back. I didn't make it this year because uh, I came to LA instead. But yeah, I'm definitely coming to Cape Town, and that'd be sick. Yo, you were in Jamaica. That's my home. Yeah, I was in Montego Bay, man. I loved it. I didn't get to I didn't get to experience or explore much in Jamaica because I was on the resort the whole time. But I would love to go back. Um, but I loved it while I was there. It was beautiful. People were awesome. Hello, thanks for that feedback on Cape Town. Yes, I've heard stories. I had a friend who went to South Africa with his boyfriend. His boyfriend is white, so when other white people spoke to him, he said that they said he was different to other black folks because he was from London. One question though, what was the gay culture like in Cape Town? Because Cape Town is the gay capital of Africa. I live in London now, but I'm from Johannesburg. Uh, the gay culture was cool. I would go to a lot of the gay parties. I think they were all in like Greenpoint, basically. Uh, they had like in the gay clubs, they had bathhouses. 
I don't know how you guys feel about bathhouses, but if you've never been to a bathhouse, you should go. <laughs> like you should go, you should check it out. I mean, I don't know what it's about to be like now, I, now that the pandemic and all this stuff has happened, but in the past, it's kind of like, you go into this like, this huge building, it's like a, and it's like, you know, you, you pay a ticket and they give you a robe or whatever and like shoes. And it's like basically, yeah, you're like the sauna, it's like a bunch of jacuzzis and hot tubs and sometimes there's a bar and it's just like a bunch of guys. And basically you're there to mingle and to hook up. You can come with a friend, you can come with your partner, you can come however. And then like, you know, there's, so like, there's like, you know, there's pool tables. Like I said, there's pools, there's hot tubs, you know, it's a bar. But then as you go around, there's like the showers, people are taking showers and people are like hooking up in the showers. And then you keep going around and there's like these like rooms and there's like a dark hallway and like you can buy a room basically just you know for you and whoever maybe you meet someone there y'all buy a room and y'all can hook up in the room or maybe you and your partner get a room and then y'all invite somebody over however you're set up but long story short you can walk down this hallway and it's like a bunch of guys it's a bunch of guys in the hallways it's a bunch of guys standing outside of their rooms and as you walk down people are inviting you in you can see people fucking in other rooms like they might let you come in like <laughs> yeah so the bathhouses are interesting like i've done them i've definitely gone like you know you take you use protection obviously but yeah they, they have them in a lot of places uh, they even have them in new york they have them in uh, i've done them in amsterdam like they're cool, it's a cool way to, it's kind of just a cool way to hook up. You know, if you just want to have some sex, you want to have some fun, or, or if you just want to see people hooking up, like, yeah. So that was gay culture in Cape Town. Like I would go, I would go to that, I would go to, I would go to some of the gay parties. But for me, I get bored. Like I, I, I don't always just want to be around a bunch of guys. Like I like girls, like I like partying, I like good music. So for me, I like diverse parties that are everything everybody sometimes i just kind of do do a little bit of this little bit of that 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 because sometimes the straight parties and bored because i'm like okay like there's nobody for me to talk to here if i want to talk to a guy so then it's like okay maybe friday night i'm gonna go to a gay party saturday night i'm gonna go to a straight party and then sunday i'm gonna go hear a dope ass dj that i really like and then it's sometimes just gay and straight people there like it's just like i just do stuff that i think is dope and that i want to do i don't necessarily move based on is this for whatever but yeah that was a long ass answer for a short question i'm from south africa and i've been on your videos keep up the good work i also like your perspective of my south africa you should come back for a holiday thank you i'll definitely be back is Tradell a top or power bottom is his dick bigger or smaller than nine inches i'm actually gonna dislike a comment <laughs> like come on what the fuck is that okay i think I don't think I have time to get to the next two videos. So I think I'm gonna have to split this up because I got somewhere to be tonight. I wanna go see my friend. So, um, yeah, I'll finish the next two videos tomorrow. <laughs> Love y'all though.